Hi guys, Richard from Sharpshooting UK here. I have been sent an idle back chair system for review and I want to explain to you why I have fallen completely in love with it and I would pay my hard earned for it despite its high cost. Okay, here's one of the reasons I love it. You can use it for birding or for long range spotting, like I'm doing here, long range spotting of uh, um, rifle shots, and then you could switch over to the gun clamp in the work of moments. Here is my clamp, which I have centered where I want on the rail to suit me and my uh, shooting position. There's the clamp, there are new ones available which are like um, hog saddles, you know, that grip the rifle, and this is the standard one. Off with this on the QR, off with the spotter, on with the plate for the rifle. Lovely. In fact, I think that's the wrong way around, I think I have it this way. Great. So I love that. I love that. You've got a arm here that can take whatever attachments you want to you want to put on. The other thing that's made me really fall for it, rather than it just being an expensive heavy chair, or what looks to be heavy, it isn't actually heavy, but we'll get to that, um, is its adjustability. That clamp, you want to tilt it a bit? Fine. It's just a nut underneath, move it along. You want to put a different plate on there? Fine. Just bolt it on. Everything is adjustable. We'll take this out and have it the other side. You do that. All just nuts and bolts. Just like Meccano. Get it exactly doing the job that you want. You want to move that over there? Just undo it. Um, the quality is really, really something. And it's light and strong so it's just no weight it really isn't you can pick it up and move it which is what I'll show you next so another lovely feature this section here which can be your armrest or the back of the rifle in a rear rest do with it what you want position it where you want everything undoes and slides and tilts and pivots and can be changed and upgraded if you want to put that on the other side, undo that nut, put it over there. If you want to turn it round, fine, do that. It's entirely modular to get it how you want it. Likewise, if you are using it as a um, seat for pigeon shooting, where you would take this front arm off, I'll just demonstrate in a second. These black plates here are anti-mud sinking plates. You know how the bottom of the uh, pigeon hide can get really, really muddy. That will stop it disappearing into the, uh, into the ground. The height adjusters here are super, super burly. They're pinned and clamped. So, and it looks heavy, doesn't it? It looks really like box section metal. It is box section metal, but it's lightweight aluminium. Very strong, doesn't flex, doesn't squeak, but it weighs nothing. Really, really handy. I'll show you how you can move it in a minute. So, I love the QR clamp. There is a new gun clamp coming out that you can upgrade to that will uh, enable you to actually clamp the gun rather than just you know have it support the gun. Um, that's a very cool feature. Again, all modular, you can retrofit them. Any new upgrades that the designers come up with over time, you're gonna be able to buy and add into your system. Um, but if you don't want this to be used for rifle shooting or optics um, support, you can take this off, I'll show you. Okay. So, one nut, so this obviously swivels around to where you want. There's a nut, off of that, and then your main arm comes off, leaving you just a seat. See the weight of this? Absolutely nothing. It is child's play. Looks like it weighs 20 pounds. It's incredibly light. This is one of the surprises about the Eiderback system. You could sling this thing under one arm, no problem. It's quite bulky in the car. Can't get away from that even when it's folded down, but it is very light. Okay, so here's our chair and our backrest. All adjustable, all configurable. Solid as the day is long. This 
section here, upgradable, adjustable, goes up and down with your clamp, super burly, no squeaks, look at the construction, it's just made to uh, give to your grandchildren this thing. Different seats available, silent bearing, it really is silky smooth, and then you've got your three feet there, and they actually should clamp out, they go like that, that's better. So you get really into pushing them down and that is rock solid now let me show you what you can do with it so a lot of money what's it going to do for me hopefully lots of jobs it does do lots of jobs. You can use it in a pigeon hide and it is fantastic because you can get just the right height and the right angle and it doesn't slip into the mud. And it's really easy to carry. It's, it's bulky, but there are straps that come with it, but it weighs nothing. It really doesn't weigh as much as it looks like it does. Uh, super comfortable and you can hop up off that and um, you know you're, you're, you're silent, you're at the right height and you're not slipping into the mud. I know it sounds crazy, but those of you who've spent days in a pigeon hide will know how crucial that seat is. If it's too low, you miss your opportunity to pop up. If it's tilted one way on the uneven ground, you get tension in one leg where you've been trying to sort of sit there. And all this just makes you go home early. If you can adjust the seat that it's dead level, it doesn't sink into the ground, it's exactly the right height, it really is worth some money. So that's cool. The other place that it's very useful is when you're shooting bench rest. It's essential, given that the bench doesn't move, that your height is perfect for long range accuracy. The bench rest guys who shoot from any type of bench or table will know exactly what I mean. This chair gets you the right height, perfect comfort, and um, it is useful for that. Um, then you've got the option to obviously put on the front arms and start supporting stuff. Now, as you just saw, um, the front arm has can have a QR plate on it so you can switch from spotting scope to rifle or whatever you want on their video camera. And that is a real boon in my opinion because it starts to make it doubly useful and that means that it's doing more for your money and you're more likely to buy one and get value out of it. Um, for me, I can use a spotting scope to spot thousand yard shots easily in great comfort even in the wind. It saves me spending all my time behind the rifle spotting if I'm not shooting. I can simply use a spotter like the Swaro STR here which has got a ret in it, a ballistic ret in it, and I could call corrections to the shooter. That is very cool in my line of work as a firearms instructor. So that uh, is something I really like. And the stability of this is, is outstanding. Uh, it, it's really quite remarkable how steady a system it can be. Um, with those three feet and then the arm and then your backhand braced on the rear support, it's really surprising how steady it is. I'll uh, put it up and I'll, uh, I'll show you in more detail now. Okay, so this is how you put it on. This is how quick and easy it is. There's the arm, very light as I say. Slide it into the groove. You can do this in the dark, you really can. Through there, and we're done here. Okay. So, we've got our front arm and our rear support on. I'll give you some demos as to how you can brace this. There's lots of different ways of doing it. And as I say, one of the most important things about this kit for me is that all of the angles are changeable to suit you. Okay, so my way of getting on this is to get on over the back. I have that low, I put it down like that. I step over and push the backrest up. Okay, so you're now in this position and you're able to swivel. And this for foxing and uh, anything is very steady. I'm gonna take off my gun mount for now, I'll show you that in a minute. Off with the gun mount, on with the spotter. Okay, so 
what I do personally is I have this arm as a sort of a rest like that. I then brace this. Now this is all adjustable for angle here, like that, on that pivot here. So you just reach down between your legs, do that up, and all of a sudden you're tight. And it goes from right down there to past vertical. And then of course, you have this extension here. So you are gonna be able to get this right. And of course, same applies for the backrest. So me, I would fettle this so that it's fairly upright, fairly high, get onto my spotter, brace here, brace here, brace with my legs, and trust me, that's plenty steady, even at 1,000 yards spotting tiny, tiny, uh, tiny shots, you know, really, really accurate rounds. Um, you're able to call really good corrections. Rifle-wise, and obviously you could use this in different ways. You can have it on this side for this arm, all entirely up to you, you know, have it where you want it. But that's the way I do it, basically brace the elbow and then I'm like this. I'll put a rifle on here now and I'll show you how, how that works. But it is, it really is sturdy and it's silent, waterproof, and it is nowhere near as heavy as it looks. So I thought it'd be useful, but it's actually turned out to be um, fantastic and uh, it does so many different jobs so well that it's worth the money and it's gonna last that's for sure and the way I get off it stand up back rest down sweep back like that and interestingly you can actually pick the whole shebang up and it will just walk like this against your shoulder it's actually surprisingly easy to move which I'll show you uh, next to the rifle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I get steady um, with this uh, system with a rifle and then I'm also going to show you how easy it is to pick up by night and move it. I have had the most remarkably improved um, hit rate at night, both at closer ranges with small targets like um, ratting. Essentially I've tested what I can do on sticks at the range so I knew exactly and it isn't that impressive. Um, for deer at 150 yards that's fine, very portable, but um, for foxing at 200 yards, rabbiting at 150, ratting at 50, I can't shoot well enough. End of story. Unless I kneel and then I'm down in the mud. Um, with the idle back you can hold the rifle in one hand and you can hold the whole chair assembly in the other in a, a way I'll show you it balances really well and then you can simply move along drop the um, chair down even in total darkness carrying the rifle as well and then you can scan around and I can basically shoot a minute off it pretty easily a minute of angle so that puts me into an inch at 100 yards two inches at 200 yards half an inch at 50 yards outstanding stability it really is and infinitely better than I can achieve on sticks so I'll show you how I get steady myself lots of different ways of doing it but I'll show you how I do it and uh, then I will show you how I move with this thing despite the size of it and uh, you know it's clearly it looks like a big thing it weighs next to nothing so um, it's really easy to move around it's kind of laughable people take the mickey but I tell you what you never miss because you've got such a good rest so um, it is what it is. It's fantastic for scanning round uh, with night vision at night. You can uh, rotate round with your spotter dead steady or indeed if you're using the rifle scope, the night vision scope, you can spin round and you can spot so well it, it, for hours on the end, complete comfort. Really, really good. Right, here we go. I'll show you how, uh, how I personally set the rifle up on this. Rifle safe, no bolt. Okay, so over the back is how I come in. Up at the back rest, that's how I do it. And down, all of this is too high, so that comes down, this comes down, and forward a bit. I then have this on my left to slightly twist it 
rather than it all being dead centre, I've found that if I have it on the left, it's slightly more cross-braced. This I use as an armrest, not a rifle rest, but you can. You can use it to uh, rest the rear of the, uh, rear of the, um, the, the, the butt on it, should you wish. And there we go, dead steady. And of course, I can spin around. I'm out of the mud, I'm comfortable, I'm silent. I'm on the right for no problem. If I need to do anything, I can rest bullets on there. There's attachments you can get that will hold magazines and such like. Back on the rifle. I'm just slightly pulling into it, slightly pushing forward and pulling back. Obviously I could have that further out, back here. The arms are adjustable, do what you want with them. But that, I could shoot a minute on. And that is infinitely better than I can achieve on, for, on, um, on sticks. And certainly better than I can achieve standing in any consistent manner. There you have it, so that's how it looks. I have this on the left of center, could be on the right of center if I wished. And I slightly twist into it. I could be further forward, I could be right back like this, braced like that, loads of different ways of doing it, but that's that's how I do it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm gonna show you how I move at night with it. It's surprisingly easy. Okay, so I'm in this position. Let me zoom the camera out. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off towards that hedge down there, so I'm still in shot. So I'm going to imagine it's completely dark, doing this by feel in the in the in the dark, with only one hand free because I'm holding the rifle. Okay, so I'm going to head off down to the hedge there, as an example, and I'll try and speak up so you can hear me. So I'm on the chair shooting. I'm in my, in my position. I decide that I want to move. This is how I do it. Total darkness, no extra hands needed. Rifle in one hand, obviously make it safe. Forward, swing over, grab it about here. And the whole thing just rests on your shoulder. Head off to where you're going. Rifle down, to your feet if you need to. Over the back. On. Put it back on in my new position. Right now. Again, life is safe. Forward. Swing over. Pick it up. It just rests against you. Go to where you're going. Get it secure. Over. And on. It's very, very, very useful at improving your kill rate because you can shoot a minute off it. Simple. Okay, let's show you the folding up of this for transport. So, when you're done, up that, that's one section. That's section two. Takes up a bit of room, more than sticks, but it'll do a lot more for you. Here's just a bit of close-up to give you an idea of the, the construction here. It is really, really solid. That plastic is the bushing that it spins around on. You grease that and it's ultimately silent and ultimately smooth. You see the construction here? Big old nuts and bolts, really nice coatings, everything's secured. Really, really well thought out. Tremendous quality, guys. It really is beautifully put together. Gonna last a lifetime. I'm so impressed by it. Overall, it's a system that I've come to find indispensable. 
You know, it's good kit when you can't imagine doing your thing without it. I, uh, I love it for foxing. I know a lot of people shoot from vehicles, but I don't. Uh, it's just the nature of my land. Very mobile we need to be. And um, it's big land with very distant foxes. And uh, I was always butting up against the limits of the potential of sticks. And um, struggling to scan around and not wanting to go uh, onto into prone, certainly not into prone or, or kneeling, because it's just six inches of mud half the time. So this is uh, invaluable now. I, uh, I really, really like it. And I found, as I said before, that I use the chair for lots of other things, particularly long range spotting. It is fantastic for that. Really steady, super useful. Filming, you know, again, fantastic for that. And uh, just as a normal chair. And then there's the pigeon hide side of things. So it's a lot of money, but you're going to have it the rest of your life. And it is modular, premium quality. And the people who make it, I mean, they're fantastic. You are not going to struggle for um, backup and support. So, uh, yeah, I, I really do recommend this more than I thought I would. I thought it'd be a useful tool. It's turned out to be indispensable and in more ways than I imagined. So thoroughly recommended kit. Absolutely.